This is Heather Dye reporting live with the news you can motherfucking use. And today I want to talk about, seriously though, I want to talk about some weird shit that I have observed within the black community, okay? <laughs> and it's kind of weird to me and it's always been weird to me, but I really, really, really like want to know like why y'all do that shit. And here's the thing, okay? It's like, I feel like when a black person has a light-skinned child, they treat the light-skinned child better than they treat the dark-skinned child. Or they glorify the light-skinned child more than they glorify the brown skin or the dark-skinned child. And as society already putting those type of stereotypes on them, I always wonder, like, why the fuck do black people do that shit to themselves? And, like... You know, they be all, yes, this is my baby, baby, And then at some point, they make me don't like that motherfucker. Like, get that motherfucker the fuck away from me. Just because of how you trying to act like it's better because it's lighter or some shit. It irritates me. And then it irritates me because it brings me back to my childhood. My best friend was that way. She was black. And her mom got with this white guy. And, he, and then she had two mixed children. And... She treated them absolutely 100% wholeheartedly better than she treated my friend. And it was just, it was obvious. It was obvious as fuck that she felt like, oh my God, I have these little white skinned kids and I just love them so much and they're so pretty. It's like, I slapped the fuck out them white ass kids. Because bitch, they look the same. This, this motherfucker got the same face as this motherfucker except for this one brown skin and she got more of a thicker wavy curly patterns more so like my daughter's hair or something and this one is just light bright and white with some white people here and but they got the same face they got the same exact face so what the fuck is different about this one that it ain't about this one and it would make me mad as hell that she would do her like that but it's weird as fuck it's weird as fuck and then okay my mom is white so we didn't get the special light skin treatment. You know, it wasn't never like, oh, I have these little white skin, light mint white skin, light skin kids and some, some, I don't know, maybe because it was more normal to her because she a white motherfucker or some shit. I don't know. But I don't ever recall her calling my brother cute or like telling him how cute he is. She still don't do that shit to this day. She'll tell me I'm pretty sometimes, like if I'm dressed up going out and she might see me or something, she's like, you look pretty, but that's not something she just tells me all the time my mom would look at me all the time we would just be riding in a car when i was a little girl and she would be like heather i just always want you to know that no matter how beautiful you are there will always be someone more beautiful than you but beauty and brains know it no power and i used to be like god damn pop out then little okay like i mean you know you have to did she try to let me down and bring me back up in the same motherfucking sentence like fuck? But then I got older and I got what she was saying to me. Like, you know, you could be pretty all you motherfucking want to. But if you if you dumber than a box of motherfucking rocks, then none of that shit matters. You know what I'm saying? Don't focus on that. And and there you 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 may be a beautiful girl, but there are millions of beautiful girls. Tall, short, white, black, brown, and all somewhere in between, Latino, whatever, whatever, the, whatever the hell the case may be. You know, there are millions of beautiful women. So what's going to make you different? You know, you got to have a good heart. You have to be genuine. You have to treat people right. You have to, um, and, and she would always say that. That was her saying, like beauty and brains, no, with no power, no, with no power, you know? And the only thing I ever remember her saying to my brother growing up was, nigga, you got $20. I don't remember her going to into anything about his looks or no shit like that and it was weird because growing up he had this light-skinned friend that you know they light-skinned dude they fucking out of holes you know they got some curly hair or something, something, something so the motherfucker tried to talk to me and i was like first of all you disrespectful as fuck because you know my brother does not allow me to talk to his friends nor would he appreciate you doing that so you disrespectful as fuck so i'm a drag your ass but i ain't gonna really talk to you like that but it's gonna take a little bit more than some good motherfucking hair to motherfucking talk to me and first of all i don't fuck or fuck with niggas that have to ask they mama for money you know what i'm saying my brother motherfucking was light-skinned but that nigga been on his own since he was motherfucking 16 we both damn near have and i ain't gonna go into no details you know what i'm saying but the thing is 
we weren't, I guess you treated us like some niggas or something. If I think about it, like we got treated like some straight niggas, goddamn. Like she never like was like, you know, you have beautiful hair and you know, you're light skinned and you know, like she never, that was never like a thing in my household. I mean, I mean, I don't know, but I it, it it's a thing in black households. I see it. Even if if you don't see you, yourself doing it, I see it. You know, and it's like, where the fuck did that shit come from? Where did that shit come from? But anyway, and the dude was trying to talk to me, and I guess he was so used to bitches just flocking over him because he was cute and shit. But like I said, nigga, it's gonna take a lot more than some motherfucking curly hair. And he lied, and he told he told his family and his friends that he had sex with me, but he didn't. Which I don't care about because I'm the type of person, as long as me, you, and God know that that didn't happen, I don't really do too much explaining and it's not going to really affect me or hurt me. But the nigga was lamer than a motherfucker, but he was always glorified about his looks too. And that was always so fucking lame to me. And I don't like no nigga like that. Like, nigga, don't think you prettier than me. And who gives a fuck if you got good hair, nigga? I do too. Like, what the fuck? You still got to ask your mama for $20. What the fuck they do that shit at? But, um... You know, then that motherfucker used to sing. God damn it, one time he took me and all my friends to the club. The bounce. The bounce on Bankhead. Boy, that shit used to motherfuck the old Atlanta. If you really from here, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. We was going to the motherfucking bounce. And it was my birthday. And that nigga just stopped when we was finna get out the car and was like, Happy birthday. That nigga bottom lip was shaking and some more shit. That nigga was trying to sing the fuck out that shit. And I was like, Ooh. <laughs> Where the fuck they do this shit at? Like, you already light-skinned. How you gonna be light-skinned and lamer than a motherfucker? You can't be light-skinned and lamer than a motherfucker. You know, we you, you, you just throw the whole nigga away. Throw the whole motherfucking nigga away. For real, for real. And, you know, it's true. You grow up around black motherfuckers. For some reason, they automatically think you weak because you light-skinned. So you have to, like, fight your way a little bit harder. You know what I'm saying? And be a little bit more aggressive. And assertive with a motherfucker, like, you know, just because I'm light-skinned don't mean I won't whoop your motherfucking ass. But you try to be humble, you know what I'm saying? And you try to be polite and nice at all times, you know, keep it cute, sis, and all that bullshit. But I don't like that shit. And y'all need to stop doing that shit. And I wish the fuck I would give my daughter a complex because she brown-skinned or if she was dark-skinned or if she was whatever the fuck. Because I've seen some dark-skinned bitches that are... 12 times beautiful than some light skin hoes. I done seen some light skin hoes 12 times beautiful than some dark skin hoes. I done seen some ugly ass Spanish hoes. I done seen some ugly ass white hoes. I done seen some beautiful white bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, beautiful people are beautiful people. And it comes from within. But, you ain't motherfucking cute just because you light skinned. And y'all need to stop doing that shit and telling them hoes that shit because it's getting on my motherfucking nerves. And that's news you can motherfucking use.